Hey guys, Bay here. Another arc video. Be showing you how to make this one by one cooking base behind me. It's a pretty simple build. It's got double walls, double doors with an interior metal one, double ceilings, and triple foundations. It has one preserving thing, one cooking pot, one water tap, and up to four standing torches, two mortar and pestles, and two campfires. These are the materials required. This is an exact count because it's a fairly cheap build. Let's get started. You're going to be starting off with a water tap, upward slanting pipe, water tap, thatch foundation. Try and center the water tap about at that point, leaving space on either side, more off to the right. You're replacing a wooden pillar. Off to the side, lowest snap point. In the center, lowest snap point. Off to the side, thatch floor, lowest snap point. A pillar on top of that at the lowest snap point. Stone foundation underneath the original thatch one, lowest snap point. And a thatch foundation off to the right, highest snap point. You can delete the pillars and the original thatch floor. Next up, you're going to place your bed. This part is completely optional if you want a respawn point here. I like to do that. Tee it off with your top left hand corner. Place it down just like that. I'm going to rename it cooking for the respawn test. We're going to come around to the back with a water tap. And we're going to try and align the cooking pot's right hand legs with these, this edge. And then push them in a little ways to make sure this closest leg is far enough away from all of the corners. That looks good. Come around to the opposite side here. Figure out what, where your campfires are going to go so they don't overlap the edges. Place down a bear trap there. One campfire, take a few steps to the right, second campfire. Make sure you don't move your cursor in that step. Next up you're going to place down your uh, stone foundation at the middle level, then your mortar and pestles. You're going to then place the stone foundation at the highest point, you can remove the thatch floors. You can then place your standing torches with the bear trap first. It might be easier to place them on the right hand side. This may take you a few tries and you can put one on each side if you want to. Otherwise you can use the bear trap glitch to put several in a row. Next up we're going to ring the entire thing in fence foundations. And then fill in the walls. Outer layer first. And then there. This inner wall over here has problems, but we already planted this, so delete the diagonal stone pipe and the tap, then place the wall, then simply replace the diagonal and the tap. Next up you're going to need your preserving bin in this back corner. Your door frames, stone first, then metal interior. Then your doors. Metal fit being first. With stone being exterior. Your last step is going to be your ceilings.
all fits in the one by one square. Everything is accessible from the inside. This is very helpful for filling up water to immediately put, put into the cooking pot without having to be outside. Especially if your base is not near a stream. Hope you guys build this. Hope it helps you. Adios.